It may be pushing 90 degrees outside, but the Toledo walleye are on the ice at the Huntington Center for day two of training camp with plenty of new faces, including this one. One player in particular I think fish fans are pretty familiar with. Longtime Comet defenseman Cody Soul signed a player tryout agreement with the walleye earlier today. Now he wasn't on the ice for the practice, but is looking forward to having the fish fans for him instead of against him. I think it's going to be it's going to be a nice change. You know, it's it's an intimidating arena to play in. They the crowd's amazing. They're they're loud and they're and they're into the game. And you know, when I was here, I got I got heckled quite a bit. And there's a lot of stuff going against me. But you know, uh, that's just part of who this, this fan group is. You know, they take a lot of pride in their team, and that's what I want to do coming here. I want to take pride in, in wearing the walleye jersey, and I'm I want to come here and try to win a championship. But everything kind of came to fruition late last night when, when uh, you know, he made the decision that he'd like to take a tryout opportunity. Uh, and that's what it is. It's a tryout. It's an opportunity for him to, to show us firsthand what he can do on the ice, but also behind the scenes. Something we don't know about him is his leadership skills, uh, how he is with the teammates, and that's something we'll find out here pretty quick. He knows he has a player, and he's, we played in the div this division for five years now, so he knows everything I can do. And he wanted me to come in and kind of be the locker room guy that they, they wanted and be a leadership. You know, that's a lot of pride I take in, into myself as being that guy in, in the community and in the locker room and just being the person that uh, my parents raised me to be. So, you know, the, the on ice stuff will speak for itself, but like the stuff behind closed doors, I think it's what he really wants me to do. I think the biggest thing uh, as a staff, we know what he can bring to the table. We also know what he still needs to work on. And I think that's a, a positive thing. So we talked about that. We talked about coming here and really earning that opportunity and, and, and taking it and, and he's willing to do that. So I think that really impressed us as well that an older guy who's typically set for what he's going to do this season is, is kind of taking a risk on his own and, and going to show us what he can do. And I think that really uh, you know impressed us as a staff. Just eight players returned from last year's Kelly Cup final squad, including longtime walleye Shane Burschback. Yeah, it's definitely uh, not a big turnover from last season, but uh, you know it's not a bad thing and we're always we kind of just reload here, you know, guys move on and you kind of just fill in their spots with uh, players that are high caliber and high skilled and, uh, you know, want to win. It's going to take a bit, uh, a lot of new faces, a lot of new line combinations, new D for me uh, to start getting in touch with, starting to see how they play and how we can work together on the ice. But uh, I think it's an exciting thing. It'll give a lot of fresh, a lot of new energy to the team. Do you want people to come in here that want to move on to the next league, to the American League, and uh, you know, with that, you got to win and you got to perform, and you know, so bringing those types of personalities in, good people, guys that are driven and that want to win. So uh, you know, it's easy to get those guys to come to a place like Toledo with uh, all the fans support we get. So it's great. It's a busy, busy summer on the phone just because of what's been created here in Toledo. Guys want to come here because they want to win. They want to get better as hockey players. They want to get better as people. They want to be part of the atmosphere that the Huntington Center and the fans created. It's a special place. And so there's a, you know, there's a lot of times on the phone and, and again, just doing our homework. And so, um, you know, we want to make sure we had a little bit more skill up front last year, having the ability to score goals at big times, uh, much like the Growlers did to us in the finals. We want to have defensemen who can move pucks but are, are happy just defending, but also getting in on that rush and joining the offense. I think we've done a really good job of that. Well, yeah, you know that right from the summer when I'm talking to Wadi, uh, you get that right away. That they're here to win, and uh, that's what they want. They, they don't want to settle for anything less than that Kelly Cup, so uh, hopefully I can, I can help them out and bring that here.